Hello, welcome to Coach Michael 101, where we listen to music, check out movies, other miscellaneous man, and hopefully we have some fun along the way. Uh, we are back. We're back with an ABBA song, uh, Fernando, one of their biggest hits. And of course, if you've been following the channel, you know, Rita was my first crush, my first love. Absolutely. When I was a little, a little boy, she was the... The one that kick-started, you know, the first hair on my chest sprouted when I saw her. She was just, there's just something about her that I absolutely loved, still do. But we are going to check out Naba Fernando, my girl. Let it roll. This is something that, because people tend to focus on the the ladies singing and and the the, the four main people in the band, uh, if you got rid of the vocal track, just the levels of musicality that's in the song from the the military style marching drums that are in the background, the the flute, you know those those are all very reminiscent of of a march. But then you have the um, the chorus in the background that's that sounds almost like uh is very theatrical it's almost like wind blowing across a battlefield and, and i know this is a song kind of geared towards that um, but just the level of musicality from this band a lot of a lot of people kind of sleep on that because obviously you got the the, the ladies here are just otherworldly voices and so it's easy to kind of just zero in on that but the level that, that the music is, is thought out and structured is just phenomenal. Fernando, every hour, every minute seemed to last eternally. I was so afraid, Fernando. We were young and full of life and none of us prepared to die. And I'm not ashamed to say the roar of Almost made me cry There was something in the air that night The stars were bright Fernando They were shining there for you and me For liberty Fernando Though we never thought that we could lose There's no regret I 
got to be the end screen my girl frida <laughs> like i said she was one of my very first crushes as a little boy i mean like you know nine ten years old she was one of the first ones where i went hmm, i'm not sure what i'm feeling but it's pretty good <laughs> um you know and and this song came out i believe in the early 80s right right around 1980 maybe 81 and we had just had a whole string of songs. The first one that comes to mind is Billy Don't Be a Hero of songs about going about, you know, young men, young lovers being separated by war and going off to war. And, and you know, this one kind of just kind of fell into that. Um, I, I'd be shooting a guess. They talked about the crossing the Rio Grande. So this is probably the Mexican-American War, the Spanish-American War. But just, just, uh, just a beautiful, beautiful song. And again, a lot of people sleep on the musicality of this band, of ABBA. And just the, the layers and the thought process that goes through making that sound match their voices and it's just it's it's next level which is why you know this is one of the biggest bands in the history of music um, i believe at one time they were the biggest selling band in the 70s um actually the two biggest selling bands in the 70s a lot of people would think you know maybe eagles or led zeppelin it was actually abba and kiss at least at least in the u.s u.s market but just like I said, I absolutely love this band. Love Frida. But anyway, if you're as big a ABBA fan or as big a Frida fan, leave a comment down below. Uh, Hit the like button, subscribe, turn the post notifications so you don't miss a single video. This is Coach Michael 101. We listen to music, amazing music. Check out movies, other miscellaneous mayhem, like our first loves. <laughs> and hopefully we have some fun along the way. I'll see you next video. Mm -hmm.